lot of people, probably 30 to 40% of the people that contact me about vocal coaching, wanting to work on their voice, they say, I want to prepare for American Idol or I want to prepare for the voice audition. They've seen these shows, they want to get involved, they want to show their, their talent and they have a lot of hope. So how, how does that work, Dita? Is, is the voice or a casting show the way to get into the business and become famous? <laughs> I'd just like to remove the word famous because famous is not a destination, right? So famous is, is, should be the reward of your work. Um, and famous, uh, uh, I don't like that word, but but let's agree on that. So what people want is what they see, right? They want to be in talk shows, they want to be in medias, they want to be on TV shows, they want to be seen everywhere. That That's what we call famous here, I guess. So the whole thing is when, when these people come to you and talk, I mean, it's I really sit down and I say, okay, so what is the goal? I mean, do you do you want to... Do you want to play? What is your plan? Do, do you have a plan as a singer? Because I think it's really important to have a plan as a singer. So I would like to write an album. Okay, but what style of music? Because if you go with no taste or with no plan, then they're going to take over. And of course, you might get far because in TV shows, the more manipulative you are, um, the, the further you can actually get. But... I'd like to help the singers stay a little bit themselves as well. And uh, thereby, what, what we do is we work the other way around. We work like, okay, so this is what a TV show wants. Now, how can we make you fit into those boxes? I think it's better because that way we actually help them plan. But I think the most important thing uh, to do when singers come and talk to you like this is to actually tell them that it's a, it's, it's a game. Because the, the reason I send people and I say yes to, to putting people when I feel they're ready there, and I say when I feel they're ready, because otherwise I let them go and subscribe themselves. But if they want my mentorship, and then we go hand in hand, and that, that we take these competitions together, then we need to have a plan together. Because it's very hard to go alone. Of course you can. But the more you are, the more people you have standing behind you. The, the easier it is for you to, to get through. So the first thing is to tell them it's a game. So it's not about, I mean, if you come for justice, <laughs> this is not the right place. So warn about how it works, give them the rules and the game plan. And then once we're in, then we can work on. But it's very important that they know that it's a game and that it's a game where the TV show wants to earn money, right? That, that That's the thing. So... First thing is just to say that no matter what happens, when you're on TV, just one time, one TV show, you have already got a huge publicity you cannot even pay yourself. So it is a huge publicity, right? And today, I mean, when I were in TV shows a little longer ago, <laughs> there, were, there were no social medias. So the only thing you would get, if you were lucky, was an article in a, in a magazine or an interview in a... In a, in a in a journal so that's about what you could get you could get an interview on the radio but all of this was very complicated they needed to phone you and get the phone number from the production but today while you're on tv they're they're writing down and writing to you on facebook on instagram on all these medias yeah. and that was actually uh, this year i had uh, four participants in the voice belgium uh, where uh, three of them were people that I was mentoring. And um, I did not know how horrible people can be writing on the social medias. Mm -hmm. So that is something I really prepare them for now too. And I have actually for this uh, TV show, I have, I have a little crew who goes out and answers to all of these bad, uh, bad comments. Uh, in a very marketive good way because uh, it's very important for me that that my singers feel safe when they work with me so uh, but but that's a new game that that game I, I hadn't seen coming so um, that's really amazing as well of course when I say bad I mean we had three or four bad comments within 2,000 fantastic people going woo 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 but it's just important yeah. that the singers that knows that this is coming too yeah I totally agree I think preparation of course, one of the first things I ask singers when they come to me or contact me, they say, 
I say, what, what do you want to do? What's your goal? What's your goal with singing? And then, then we can develop a plan. If their plan is to be, to go to a casting show or audition for a university program or, or, uh, find a, a record contract, a production contract, you know, yeah, it's another the, plan. the goal is, is important. And it, yeah. it's uh, important that you know what you want or you, what you are, goal is what your plan is and then you got to look at okay where are you now right what are the steps we need to take so identifying those steps are really important and i think that's absolutely true um nowadays it is so fast on social media and it's wonderful people love to get comments but but uh especially we've you know if, if you've seen the social dilemma that that movie they produce it's a great great movie on understanding how the algorithms work how oh. how this impacts like uh, a lot of people's psychological health especially younger generations if you you do need to have you do need to deconnect and be prepared that as soon as you are getting a lot of exposure you know you're not gonna you're not gonna make everybody happy and there's some people that are just just have fun being mean you know and, literally yeah. that word malicious in english it exists for a reason <laughs> some people just want to be mean and yeah. i don't understand that but you gotta know you can't you cannot measure your self-worth and your singing ability and what you want to do by other people's opinion obviously yeah. you know you need to trust um certain authorities and and decide who you're going to trust and believe you know that's important but that's that's very interesting like you said i mean most of the most of the contestants on the voice nowadays or american idol you know they have no idea what it was like before social media oh no <laughs> It's, it's terrible. I mean, it's another world out there now. It's like people can really get into you. They can really contact you when you're in your bed, on your phone, or write to you. I mean, it's it's amazing. I, I, I love the... I'm also a marketer, so I love the deal in the marketing business. But I must say, wow, I, I didn't expect that to go so fast. I mean, it's while the person is singing, people are writing. It's like... Yeah. So, um, so that's just one of the things um, that, that we have to remember uh, telling people about. 